Hi, my name is Paul, and now I'm going to show you how I make slop, which is what I call ramen and chili mixed together. Anyway, let's get started. Anyway, let's get started. When you make slop, there are two things you have to have. Well, actually three things. Chili, which in this case is two cans, and a package of ramen. Now this particular package contains five packages of ramen. Um, sometimes I would use six when they had six. Nowadays they sell them in five packs. It's what the low price stores sell is the five packs. Um, two cans is good for up to about five or six uh, packages. If you're going to use less than two cans, I would say don't go over three packages of ramen. And um, if you need more, you can always add more chili. It just depends. If you like it with more of a chili flavor, then you want to add more cans of chili or a larger can of chili. If you like the ramen flavor more, then you can use less chili. But in my case, I'm going to use two cans of chili for five packages of ramen. Okay, to this pan, I need to put in five cups of water. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we'll take this pan, put it on the stove, and start boiling it. Into this bowl we need to put two cans of chili. Now do you think I need to go to the can opener? Wrong. One can of chili. Two cans of chili in the bowl. Now microwave this for about three or four minutes until it's until it's hot because you got to cook the chili first well maybe you don't have to but I think it works better that way if you heat up the chili and then put it into the ramen if you look closely you should be able to see some steam coming out of this this ramen is ready more or less it's been boiled and uh, it's hot the thing is to add the sauce packets. I usually add them after it's cooked. I don't add all of them because I don't usually want to have that much salt. There's a lot of sodium in the packet, so I'll use half, so I'll add about three. Anyway, stir the ramen so that it all gets moist and the flavoring gets into all of it. In this case, I'm having chicken. You can have beef, but chicken was what they had at the store when I bought it basically stir the ramen because sometimes some of it might not get completely cooked in the process. So if it's too dry then you'll end up with crunchy bits of ramen in the middle of it. Okay, here we have a bowl full of ramen. Here we have a bowl full of chili. Now it's time to make slop. I have a hot bowl of chili and a relatively hot pan of ramen. I had two pot holders. One of them has gone to wherever pot holders go when they escape. You know the way that uh, socks turn into coat hangers when you do them in the laundry? Well, anyway, we just take the chili and pour it into the ramen. Stir. mixing it together as best you can. Ramen is very thirsty. That's one of the reasons I also like to make it with less water than the package recommends. Because if I find out that it's dried out, I can add more water to it. I don't like to have it in a position where it's really, really runny with a lot of water in it. And so you can see there, that's what it looks like. And now you know why it's called slop. Just serve it take my bowl and put some of it back into the bowl. Depending on the circumstances, I might use a spoon, but I've got the fork in front of me, so I'll just do it. There you have a bowl of chili and ramen, or as I like to call it, slop. Sometimes when I'm cooking this, I'll find out that having mixed it, it's not hot enough. So I'll put it back in the microwave. Sometimes I'll use a larger bowl. Once you have 
put it into a regular bowl like this, you'll be able to see why I call it slop. Anyway, that's what it looks like when it's done. Uh, thank you for watching. Email paul at paul-robinson.us